If a man dedicates to the Lord part of his family land, its value is set to be or is to be set according to the amount of seed required for it. 50 shekels of silver to a homer of barley seed. If he dedicates the field during the year of Jubilee, the value that has been set remains. But if he dedicates his field after the Jubilee, the priest will determine the value according to the number of years that remain until the next year of Jubilee, and its set value will be reduced. If the man who just dedicates the field wishes to redeem it, he must add a fifth to its value, and the field will again become his. If, however, he does not redeem the field, or if he has sold it to someone else, it can never be redeemed. When the field is released in the jubilee, uh, when the field is released in the jubilee, it will become holy, like a field devoted to the Lord. It will become the property of the priests. If a man dedicates to the Lord a field he has brought, which is not part of his family land, the priest will determine its value up to the year of jubilee, and the man must pay its value on that day as something holy to the Lord. In the year of Jubilee, the field will revert to the person from whom he brought it, the one whose land it was. Every value is to be set according to the sanctuary shekel, 20 gerhas to the shekel. No one, however, may dedicate the firstborn of an animal since the firstborn already belongs to the Lord. Whether an ox or a sheep, it is the Lord's. If it is one of the unclean animals, he may buy it back at its set value, adding a fifth of the value to it. If he does not redeem it, it is to be sold at its set value. But nothing that a man owns and devotes to the Lord, whether man or animal or family land, may be sold or redeemed. Everything so devoted is most holy to the Lord. No person devoted to destruction may be ransomed he must be put to death. A tithe of everything from the land, whether grain from the soil or fruit from the trees, belongs to the Lord. It is holy to the Lord. If a man redeems any of his tithe, he must add a fifth of the value to it. The entire tithe of the herd and flock, every tenth animal that passes under the shepherd's rod, will be holy to the Lord. He must not pick out the good from the bad, or make any substitution. If he does make a substitution, both the animal and its substitute become holy and cannot be redeemed. These are the commands the Lord gave Moses on Mount Sinai for the Israelites. So in a previous Bible study, in Lamp Bible study, we talked about the year of Jubilee. We talked about how important the year of Jubilee was because it was a complete reset So it was a way to help Israel as a whole not have super overly wealthy people as as well as not have super overly poor people within the community. It was a year to reset. So people would receive their property back. They would receive things or or they if they had sold themselves into servitude they would be set free so the year of jubilee was a very important time that the lord had set and i believe it was once every 50 uh, 50 years um as well that this was a time for a complete reset so yes and it was regarding um leviticus chapter 25 um, with the year about the year of the jubilee um, seven sabbaths of years seven times seven years so um 49 so in the every 50th year there would be a complete reset um for israel so that way again uh, um, israel could uh, not have super wealthy and super poor people it would be a complete reset you get your land back and such um again this was back in the law and the old times and it's something to look at i mean look at how we are today wouldn't it be awesome for <laughs> to know that um if you had to go into debt that you would not lose everything you know that's there's a lot of things that we um, look at today with ourselves in society and things that we could possibly improve on in the future 
I do know that like, for instance, today, today <clears throat> we do have practices like debt cancellation um, that uh, will make you have to pay a tax on it. Um, like it goes in as income, but there's also additional laws and such to help um, remove those as types of penalties. So there are some, in some circumstances, there are relievings. However, again, because this is, we are man, <laughs> <you know? laughs> it's not a hundred percent. Whereas here, God was giving them 100% relief. Every 50 years, the year of the Jubilee was a complete reset. 